Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Cheetahman91 and um, this is a, um, a quick upload today. I wanted to show something I got in the mail. I wasn't planning on doing this, but you know, I had to show this off because this kind of surprised, this was kind of surprised me. So I ordered this off of Amazon yesterday. This is um, Police Story 3, which came out in 1992, or Super Cop. Now I thought like, whenever I got this, you know, I didn't bother looking at the description that, oh, it's just going to be like the Blu-ray and shit, you know. Like, just the Blu-ray release. Like, I knew this got a 4K, but, um, I'm kind of glad it got a Blu-ray so I could, I don't have, like, a 4K player or anything, but, you know, I figured, you know what, I'm just going to get the movie and watch it, you know, and that'll be that, but whenever I got it in the mail, I was like, you know what, this package feels, you know, you know, heavier than usual. I thought, you know, because I would ordered another, like, a Jackie Chan collection, too, like, yesterday, and I thought, oh, I must have got this, too, but no, I was, like, shocked whenever I opened it up. Because not only did I get the Blu-ray, I got this very nice case that it comes in. With, like, the description and shit. So I also got a fucking thick-ass booklet. I haven't looked at this yet, but I guess it's about the fucking movie. God, yeah, I've got all those pages. How many pages is in this? God, it's at least, what, 80 pages? But, yeah, I got a booklet showing off. I think that's the, um, I think this was the, um, the American box. The, the, um... The American, based off the on the American poster, and I haven't got a film poster itself. I'm not going to unfold it because it's just um, it's just the Hong Kong poster, you know. But yeah, and you know, I want to show this off too real quick. Whenever I opened it up, yeah, it's broke. It was already broken in the mail, and the disc is in there because I was watching it earlier. I got these things. Let me just get these taken out real quick. Let me set it down. Now what these are, or um, how do I get this out? Here we go. Hopefully y'all can still hear me. Y'all can just stare at the back background. This is something, this is very unusual. These are, let me see if y'all can see them all right. The lobby cards that you would have seen in like movie theaters. Yeah, I've never seen this in a, um, let me zoom in a little bit up, you can see my foot. Yeah, I've never seen these in a, um, a Blu-ray or DVD set before, I guess. This is the first. If any of y'all like seen it, like let me know in the comments. Like, just showing like scenes from like the movie and shit. I don't know. There's one from like near the end. You know, just all sorts of like just like you know. I've never, like I said, I've never seen anything like this before. Just like fucking lobby cards. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I guess keep it with them. You know, like I guess it's for like, collectors and stuff. But yeah, this is like I don't know. I just had to show it off. I guess it's just cool as shit. Like. They went all, like, I, you know, I only paid around, like, about t less than $25, around $25 for this. So, you know, I was a little surprised that I got all this extra stuff. And, hell, I guess I might as well talk about the movie itself, because I watched that just a couple of hours ago. Yeah, it's the third entry in the um, long-running police story franchise. And um, this time, Jackie Chan's character has to take out a, um, a drug lord based out of Hong Kong. And also, it also stars Michelle Yeoh, who, um, I hope I pronounced her name right. Who's like his own partner, but she's like, um, she works for mainland China because he goes there in the movie. And then later he starts out there and then later on in the movie they go to um, Malaysia. But yeah, it's your typical police story film, you know, got your kung fu fighting, got your um, over the top like stunts, you know, death defying stunts. That's a good way to put it. And your comedic stuff. It's like, it's very good. But in my opinion, it's probably the weakest out of the three that I've seen so far. Like I would say that, um. I would say the police story one's the best. Like that opening scene, like, like you just gotta see it to believe it. It's it's incredible. Like the ending scene's good. Like where Chan's like, well, I don't want to spoil it, but yeah, you can see where this is a scene where he's like hanging onto a helicopter. But yeah, that's probably one of the highlights of the film. Like there's some good stunts in this movie, but yeah, I don't know, not quite as good as um the first two, but still very good. But yeah, I just wanted to show this off because of all this free shit. I mean, come on now, like got a fucking poster that's probably not going to do anything with it because it's got the um, creases on it but yeah got this booklet you know that's unusual like i said this is like something you'd see for like a criterion collection release not like this by the way this film this was released by some company called 88 films don't know who they are they also did um a box set for some film hong kong franchise called um i think it's in the line of duty i don't know that one caught my eye so i may end up getting that at some point but yeah that does it for me and i hope you all have a great night